Hey, yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Or if it's your first time stopping through, welcome to the channel. Hey, if you like sneakers and you like men's fragrances, you definitely found a home over here on YouTube. I've got a passion for both of them. Today, we're talking about a shoe that I had to double up on. I know I say that a lot, but these right here, I could not believe that these did not, number one, sell out when they came out, like almost instantly. And number two, I think they're still readily available if you want to go out and buy them, which is very odd. What a actually it's not odd it is a great time to be alive if you truly are a sneaker enthusiast or sneaker head or, or whatever you want to call yourself if you love sneakers it's a great time to be alive man the resale market is shifted towards new balance and asics and things like that which is cool to me because i've been rocking them guys too i've got a lot over there that you know before the trend moved and the hype moved they were worth like below retail and now they're worth like four hundred dollars and i'm like geez man why did i wear those shoes because now i can sell them if i didn't wear them i can still sell them on goat or something but if i didn't wear them i could sell them and buy like two or three pairs of other shoes right so uh hype man it just you know it, it, it changes it's going to go full circle man it always does trends come trends go they always revert back but if you like jordan one lows i would strongly suggest if you can find these buying a pair to rock buying a pair to stock because I firmly believe these are going to go up in value. Let's talk about them. Roll the tape. All right. So before we get into the shoes for my fragrance family out there and my sneakerheads that like to smell good because I know you all do, right? Hey, today is Double Feature Sunday. Not in this video, but the very next one. I'm actually going to film it right after this one. We're going to be talking about Versace Eros Energy. There's a lot of hype on this guy, okay? <laughs> this is like right now, like the Travis Scott of fragrances. And I'll tell you, it's been sold out in department stores, man, like in Macy's and Dillard's and stuff like that. We haven't been at, my wife and I have been looking for this stuff for two weeks, and it has been sold out everywhere. So I've not unboxed it yet. I don't know what it smells like because it's been sold out everywhere. So first impressions video coming up next. If y'all, if that sounds good, y'all be on the lookout for that now. Let's talk about the sneakers. These guys right here. Guys, I cannot believe that I found these, uh, you know, basically sitting again and and being able to double up on these. What, what sneaker is it? It is the Jordan 1 Low OG, 11 and a half for the toe. You already know where these bad boys are going to go. The other pair may be stocked, but these will be rocked. Colorway is Cell black and dark mocha so this is the mocha one lows and guys the mocha one highs which i know i got okay the mocha one highs these guys right here when they dropped man these things were selling for like five six hundred dollars now of course like i said the market's gone down some but these things i want to say are still like three or four hundred bucks to to get and uh this right here is personally one of my favorite jordan one highs that i have in my entire collection that's why when I knew when I seen pictures of the lows, I was like, I've got to buy them because I love lows. By the way, I'm doing a little, sorry for the mess, I'm doing a little reconstruction of my sneaker room in here. So I've got stuff everywhere. But when I do get it completed, make sure that's on there. It won't fall. Nope. Okay, cool. When I do uh, get it completed, I'm going to do a sneaker collection video. I haven't done one in a few years. So hopefully that sounds interesting too. But anyway, getting back to the sneaker, I love the highs. So I had to get lows. Let's talk about them. Let me unbox these guys real quick. I did double up, so I did a lace swap. We're going to take a look at that, too. But here they are, man. The Jordan 1 Low Mochas. Man, I'm excited about these. What a great time. They're perfect for fall time, the colorway. And I know y'all probably already seen them, right? Y'all probably already seen these guys. But ooh, let's look at them. Let's look at them real quick, just in case you haven't, okay? There's your outsole right there. You got your Jordan 1 outsole. It's in black. Your midsole right here is kind of in that. It's a white, but it's like a off-white, kind of almost sale. Uh, your toe box right here, you've got this nice black leather on the toe box. Your stitching, I forgot to say, your stitching on your midsole is the same color as your midsole. I know sometimes they contrast that with different colors, but you've got black leather going around the toe box. And then on your actual toe box is white leather with your perforations. Uh, right here, you've got your Nike swoosh, black, back, you've got the, it's not a long-haired suede, it's very short-haired, but it is nice materials. You can see the brush motion, uh, the motion on the ocean, if you will, <laughs> on these guys. So, all in all, again, I think they're double up worthy. I would definitely do it if you still see them out there. That's a quick look. Oh, the tongue is nylon, by the way. 
and you've got Nike Air right there stitched in in the mocha with the black background. Your insole, you got Nike Air right there on the insole in mocha with black, and then your sock liner is in black. One thing to note about Jordan 1s, if you don't really, or Jordan 1 lows, if you don't really have a lot of them, you're like, you know what, I'm going to start getting into Jordan 1 lows. Like I said, there's a lot of hype. Hype has moved from highs to lows all of a sudden. It may have to do with Travis Scott releasing a bunch of lows. I don't really know. But a lot of people are now wearing lows much more. Which is why I said, I would I would stock a pair. I think they're going to go up in value, especially being, especially with it being the Mocha colorway, which is a very popular colorway for Jordan 1s. Um I would go ahead and, like I said, get two pair of them, but this is what they look like with the lace. So the laces that come, oh, that's what I was going to say. I was like, man, I'm having a, a brain condition right now where I can't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> I was going to tell you guys that they don't come with a, a spare set of laces. Uh, the Mocha One Highs did. You had the black and the, and the cream. So I've got the, the cream in here, but here's the black laces that come with the lows. So you got your black right here. And then I went ahead and did a lace swap and put the cream color laces in these guys right here. So y'all look get down in the comments and let me know if y'all got them or if y'all don't, which color, which one would y'all rock? Which laces would y'all rock the black? Would y'all rock the cream color? I'm going with the cream, of course. Um, and then while I got the mochas here, let's do a quick comparison with the highs and lows. So here's the low, here's the high. Let's look at the, the colors right there are basically exactly the same um as far as the mocha color goes and the midsole and the outsole so the differences on this guy the wings logo on your highs right there is very glossy you guys picking that up and then your wings logo on your lows is like a matte black okay another difference is on the tongue you've got that the mocha nike air whereas on the highs you've got it's that cell color on the tongue with the with the brown so y'all let me know which one y'all like better i kind of like the uh i kind of like the cell color a little bit better to me but you know that's just me so anyway oh and while i got them too let's talk here's another color there's something about brown and black shoes i like these are the palominos and as you can see they are they almost look exactly the same as well man a lot of people do i love these palominos but anyway i digress Hope you guys enjoyed today's content. Let me know about what you think about the Jordan 1 Low Mochas. Were you surprised that they didn't really sell out? Did you cop them? Did you double up on them like I did? Hey, and if you want to know about Versace, Versace Eros just as much as I do, stay tuned to the next video. Thanks for checking in with me today, man. I hope you guys have a fabulous Sunday. Peace. I'm out. Y'all stay safe out there.